Hello, everybody! Hi, hi. Uh, this is the start of a new series, um, where I list my favorite song released every year, uh, beginning with, uh, the most recent year, the most recent completed year, uh, 2020, and we'll go back to wherever I feel like we should go back to. Uh, right now I have 1970 um, because when it comes to anything before like 1966 or 1967 uh, it gets a little spotty like if you look at like 2020 to about 1967 you'll you'll have this giant cloud of just a ton of different songs and bands and artists and everything and then if you go before 1967, uh, you basically just have like little fragments of Beatles, Kinks, Fats Domino, Elvis. That's about it. So without further ado, uh, let's get into this. This is my favorite song from every year of the 2010s. This will be the first episode of the series. We'll start with the 2010s and go back. So why don't we start, um, we'll start at 2020 and make, uh, make our way down. So 2020 is a Say Something by Kylie Minogue. Um, very, uh, very different compared to uh, other stuff that I listen to, but, uh, you know, it, it got me, it got me, uh, you know, mo moving around, uh, in the chair. I can't stand. And, um, yeah, it got me. It got me grooving, you know. It got me grooving. Uh, two, uh, 2019, uh, "Are We Still Friends" by Tyler the Creator. Um, probably the most unique song off of the Igor album, and uh, it was fantastic. Uh, 2018 uh, is uh, "Dance Macabre" by Ghost. Um, it is, I think it's a really good song. I think the whole album is really good. And um, I gotta remember to uh, get that album on vinyl one day. Uh, because it is it is great. 2017, we have our first uh, multi-time artist listed on here. Tyler the Creator, again, with Boredom. Uh, this one is more of Tyler Creator's uh, signature, like, lo-fi... Um, you know, uh, hip hop rap style, and uh, it's very good, very good. Uh, I like to listen to it at night. 2016 is a uh, childish Gambino, uh, "Me and Your Mama." Uh, kind of like "Are We Still Friends" by Tyler the Creator, where it has a very retro rock uh, vibe. You know, like a soul rock type vibe. 2015, it is "Circe." Is that how you say it? "Circe" by Ghost. Um, very, very good song. Ghost on here for the second time already. And, um, it's, it's so good. It's so, like, powerful and slow. And, uh, oh yeah, it's, it's good. It is very good. 2014, uh, Pink Floyd, Louder Than Words. Um, that whole, uh, The Endless River album is not very good, but Louder Than Words is definitely uh, a very bright spot. Uh, the song is very good, and I would I would actually put the song up there. Um, if you had to rank Pink Floyd songs, I would put, like, Louder Than Words is up there with, uh, you know, other songs like um, Comfortably Numb or uh, Another Brick in the Wall Part 2. Um, sheep, dogs, you know, pigs, uh, which, you know, just all, all of those. Um, it's up there. It is a contender. It's very good. It reminds me of classic Pink Floyd. 2013 was a very, very sad year. I went through all, everything released in 2013, and I can safely say that in terms of, um, my music taste, uh, 2013 was the worst year ever for music. Uh, by default, I put down 
Blurred Lines by Robin Thicke. I don't even really care for that song, but it was the only song released that year that I didn't hate. It, it's, it, it's there by default. 2012 is The Darkness uh, with a woman. Uh, the Darkness is a fantastic band with a lot of uh, really good um, songs. Um, they're mostly just remembered for um, that one song, uh, I Believe in a Thing Called Love. But uh, they, actually, they have a very, very, very solid discography uh, beyond that. And With a Woman is just top tier. Uh, top tier The Darkness. Uh, 2011 is uh, What You Give, the acoustic version by Tesla off of the Twisted Wires acoustic album. Um, I think it's better than the regular acoust uh, the regular uh, What You Give uh, that was released in like 1988 or wh wh whatever that was released. Uh, both versions are good, but I prefer the full acoustic version more. Yeah, that is the uh, first decade. Uh, there you go. Now you guys know. Take care.